Hi, it's Chloe, it's Chloe, Oscar and Danny here. Did you get your name mixed up there, Oscar? Are you Chloe today? No. I've been a bit of a girl. No. Hey, Chloe, okay, right, fine. What are we doing today then? Going to the RSPCC Centre. RSPCA Centre. And what are we going to do? Uh, I don't remember. Help dogs, cats and rabbits. Guys, so we have arrived at the rehoming shelter with Oscar and Chloe. A very quiet Oscar and Chloe, which is a bit unusual, but it is early morning and it is a Sunday, and we should all I still am be still in bed. I'm still tired. I almost fell asleep when we were coming here. Well, that's because you were sat with your coat over your head like a weirdo. Right then, so we are here at. The RSPCA Centre. So we're going to go in and we're going to go and see a lady called Emma who's going to show us around. Childminder's cat. Oh, he's going home today. He's a lucky boy. He's going to his new home today. But um, all the ones that have red posters, they're new in, so they're under assessment at the minute or under the vet, that kind of thing. So they're not available. The ones that are, we were very busy yesterday. The ones that are available have got that poster. So we've got Bella, who's 12. She's ready for a new home. Same name as your sister, Bella. Ah. Two years. Two. Two years old. Got Robin, who unfortunately had a fight with a car, and he's had to have his leg off. Oh. Um, but I'm going to get him out for you in a bit to meet him because he's ever so nice. So someone has loved him at some point to neuter him, but there's no way of tracing his owner. So whether they've moved or, and we've checked all the, the sites on Facebook and things like that to see whether anyone's missing him, but no one's put you down as missing, have they, mate? So friendly. Did 
Did you want to groom him? There's a little bush up there. I'll just get Rosie's hair out of it. That was Rosie's from yesterday. And also, like that, two sides. Because you've got the very soft side there, so if you've got a cat that is a bit scared, they can to do the soft side. So if you groom him and just do it on the bit where he's got hair, and just stay away from his little shoulder. That's it. And do it in the direction of the way his hair goes. That's it. I love that. Very oh yeah, that was just staring at me. <laughs> yeah, they're from. We had quite a lot of cats lately from what we call multi cat households. So they've got like twenty five cats, thirty cats. So they like the company of other cats, but they haven't been handled by people very much. This is where we walk our dog. is a rabbit. They get bought for children and then forgotten about. So she was found in a, as a stray all by herself. So she is, nobody's claimed her. We keep all stray animals, whether it's a dog, a cat or a rabbit, for seven days to give their owners a chance to reclaim them. And then if they don't, they get bought for adoption. Why is one cage bigger than the other? It's just, they can go in either one, whichever they like, but they just it's just to give them a choice to see which one they prefer. They like to give them a massive pile of hay as well because they like to dig tunnels in it and climb through it. And these are actually quite good. That's food on the floor, but they do use a litter tray to poo them in. So you can train your rabbits quite good like that. And how old's Harry? So now, he's, um, he, was, he was actually born here, his mum came in pregnant um, as part of this case and they, all his siblings were born here and uh, started to fall out. Oscar! <laughs>
He's only chasing you, Chloe. I don't like it. He's only playing. He's only playing, that's all he's doing. Yeah. Oh, we're going in mud! Oh, wow. So is Harry, look. We've got muddy legs as well. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the towel up. And then we maybe should do another one. Let's try and make a bigger dog. Well, I was looking at the bigger dogs, and yeah. the only one who's really lovely is Sooty, but he's got, um, he's just had a lump removed. You can take Sooty for a walk. Yeah. But make sure he's all nice and dry. Thank you, Patty. That will, it's quite a slow sink that is, it goes down quite slow. But I'll come in and blast it a bit. Blast it down. Here we do. It was mended for a while. So, he's quite nice and you smell quite nice now. Not that big. The smell of baby powder though, should smell. But it's important because he's a puppy that we use a shampoo that's very mild and gentle on his skin. Want to and then with the big dog, you do it with the... And yeah, as long as they haven't got any skin problems, we can use... There's all different shampoos on there, we just choose the one that smells nice. Right guys, so we've done... We've just been bathing Harry, haven't you? Very well, messy. you two didn't want to get wet, but... And then Oscar's been running around with Harry, so you've got mud all over you. But it's alright, and no, then... I... No, he fell! He made me fall over! I tripped over it! Oh dear. So we're now going to, what we're going to do, we're going to walk Sooty. Yeah. Oh. And maybe clean him. We can't clean Sooty because he's got that little cut on him that they've just fixed. So he can't be cleaned at the moment. But we're going to go and take him for a little walk. Go on then, Oscar. Yeah, 
Come on, let's go for a walk around with him. He'll follow you. Come <laughs> on, if you go for a walk, he'll follow you. Yeah, say, Come on, Sutee. More sensible than Harry Oscar. He is, he's, he's a bit of an older boy. He, he knows the rules. He's <laughs> <laughs> a good boy. If he had been another breed, like a Staffy or something, he'd be quite. He'd take longer to be home, just cause he, but because he's a Labrador, the fact that he's six and he's destructive, that doesn't put people off. But if it was a six-year-old Staffy that destroyed houses, then it'd be quite difficult to... We'd place him in the end, but he'd sit there for a while. Yeah, our um, Magoo that we got, he'd been with... We got him from Babington. Oh. He was a Staffy Corgi Cross. Oh, well, I've got a Staffy, but yeah, they but yeah so he had the staffy face and body but these little dumpy legs and um Chosen a dog that doesn't like cats, I don't think such as that one, but then we make sure they haven't got five cats clearing by the fire. And we're here for the lifetime of the animal, so if they, whoever adopted Kitty in five years' time decided they can't have him anymore, to come back here. We don't, they're not allowed to sell him on or pass him on anywhere. Okay, why is he He's getting, yeah. He likes having his ears rubbed, he's like, oh, I can rub my ear on you. That's it. Big, though, sort of, like, <laughs> that, aren't you? That's it scratching behind his ears, Oscar. That's what he's wanting you to do. Hey, Look, where is he? There he is. Oh, he's he's in the <laughs> He need to push me over. Yeah, you like that, don't you? But he's a typical lab as well. He will eat anything. Oh, wow. Any food. He's not bothered. So he's, he's sort of perfect weight now. Oh, we, we don't want him to put any weight on. So we sort of said that to his new owner. Don't feel sorry for him. He does not need any more weight. 
You're a brute, aren't you? Good boy, Oscar. Hi guys, well, um, I've just literally dropped Oscar and Chloe back off at the mums. Um, we've all had a really fun time today at the RSPCA Centre. Uh, big thank you to them for letting us come and help out. Um, I know they don't ordinarily let um, just anybody go in and help, so a big thank you to them for that. Um, had loads of fun today, nearly came home with about four different cats and probably all of the dogs if they'd have let me, but... Um, Anyway, we've had a really good time meeting Sooty, Harry, uh, Robin, the little three-legged cat, um, and some of the other cats that, for legal reasons, we're not allowed to actually show you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, we've got lots more fun things planned and coming up. Um, one of the things to bear in mind is next week is actually Chloe's birthday. So we've got a lot of stuff going on for Chloe's birthday. So we're going to film as much as we can for you. Um, and then she's going to have lots and lots of unboxing videos to do after her birthday with all of her presents. So yeah, if you, um, if you like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of it. Um, and if you do like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that we can uh, keep you up to date with everything that we've got coming up. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon. Bye.